In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about this Guides tab in the Guides, Dimensions and Grids drop-down in the Design Center. So over here we have the Standard Guides, Dynamic Guides, and we have some Display Options. First, I'll show you how to apply some Standard Guides. We just select an object like this one here, and all we do is simply click this button, and as you can see, the guide is applied like so. You can apply a Center Guide, Right and Left Guide, a Top Guide, another Center Guide, and a Bottom Guide. We can turn the guides on and off to view, like so. We can also delete the guides, and if we wanted to create a fresh guide, we would just come up to the ruler and select and drag one down. We can select that guide there, and you can see if I lock the guide, I can no longer select it. So no matter what I try, I cannot select that. I can unlock that like so, and I can then use the Select Guide button here and delete this guide away. So that's how we apply standard guides. Now over on this page here, we can also apply a baseline guide to text. This is very handy when you want to align the baseline of different types of text like these two here. I simply bring this up here and align it to the guide like so, and now my baselines match up. Baseline guides are a very useful tool, great way of lining up your jobs. The next type of guide we've got here is an origin guide. So in a circle, the origin's in the center. When we click this guide here, we get the guides along the center axis of the circle. In a square, it's the top left corner, so the origin guides will apply to the top left corner like so. That's how those work. Now, if we go to this next page, I'll just quickly show you how the dynamic guides work. Sometimes you want to set things apart from each other, and you can use dynamic guides to do that. So we'll set this to, say, 35 millimeters. And this is a dynamic guide, so it'll actually sort of anchor itself, or lock itself to the shape here. I'll just quickly snap the guides. So now when I apply these objects to the guides here, they snap at exactly 35 millimeters apart. So that way I can use the snapping feature to force the distance of objects away from each other, like so. And I can also set the dynamic guide to follow the object or not to follow the object. So right now, if I move this ball around, you'll see the dynamic guide sticks with that ball. It goes along with it. If I undo that by unchecking follow objects and select the guide like so, now the ball is free of the object. It's not linked anymore. So that's how those guides work. And as you can see, creating standard guides and applying standard guides is very easy. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you.